Hello friends, welcome to Starfire Code's channeled messages. The dates on my readings are the dates on which they were channeled. All of my readings are meant to be timeless. Whenever they find you, that's when they are meant for you. This is a collective reading. If you have found your way here, I trust that there is something within this message that is meant for you. Please remember to take only what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this reading resonates with you and you would like to access the rest of the reading, which includes the tarot cards that were pulled, numerology, shuffle mancy, and often clairaudience, there is a link to the extended reading below in the description box. Extended readings are located on Substack at starfirecodes.substack.com. For a monthly or yearly fee, a subscription to my Substack will provide you with access to the extended archive of all of my readings. If you would like to book a personal reading, you may contact me at the email address in the description box below. I will never contact you in the comments section, and there is no other way to book a reading with me than to use the email address in the description box. Please do not get scammed by anyone pretending to be me or any other reader. Let's begin. It only takes one action to start a ripple effect. Your focus is on home and setting the groundwork to create and preserve your legacy, perhaps even the legacy of your culture and way of life. Lately, your perception of issues that are on the table has made you feel stuck. These oppressive energies can be quite draining. You've been feeling cut off and restricted, unable to foster unimpeded movement in the direction that you want to go. Your spirit guides are here to help you shift your perception by reminding you that it's your perception that creates your experience of reality. While these things seem a bit stagnant right now and you feel like you're spinning your wheels, it's your determined resilience that will shift the energy, transforming the current state of things so that you're able to make consistent progress toward your goals. There are trustworthy people around you who will create with you an atmosphere in which a lot may be accomplished. Cooperation and loyalty are key to success here, so use discernment in choosing the people with whom you'd like to collaborate. Your focus is on creating opportunities for justice and fairness to allow the merit of the work of those around you combined with your own to shine and become something so much more than what any of you could have done alone. Combining your focus as tributaries form a river and collected the delta to empty into a lake, a bay, or even an ocean will be auspicious as the sum of your efforts, combined expanded consciousness and brain power will be greater than the parts. This combined effort will be transformative for yourself and the group, creating movement in the desired direction and creating an environment in which the goals of all may be achieved. Having the support of your team around you creates an opportunity for deep physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. You're creating an environment which becomes healing and detoxifying for all of you. This leads to clearer thought, a deeper understanding of self, growth on many levels of existence, and ultimately greater levels of positive productivity together. Once you're feeling rejuvenated, it's time for all of you to step up and lead together, get in touch with your soul gifts and utilize them for the good of the group, and by extension, the lives of all that you touch. The positive impact of this focus on creativity and leadership will radiate out from the center like ripples in a pond. Ripples, everything ripples because we're all chunks of source. Anything you learn or do impacts the whole. There are many people who feel guilty right now about the decisions other people have made. You're not responsible. You did everything you could. Ultimately, how each person decides to live life is their own choice. You can speak your mind, but overstepping the bounds of your reach to manipulate someone, even if you perceive it would be for their own good, will only serve to impact your own karma in addition to the fact that they will still need to learn the lessons that they are here to learn anyway. Inserting yourself into that scenario only kicks the can for them and makes their lessons take longer. They will need to learn the same lesson later that they did not learn now because you intervened instead of allowing them to figure it out on their own. When learning is not grounded in experience, the application of what was learned has the propensity to become destructive. Always express yourself fully if the opportunity arises, but intervening does not help. However, do not be shy about the provocation of change. Lead with passion and determination. Instigating thought in order to create a shift in reality by impacting the aggregate consciousness is a large part of what you're meant to do. Piping up and allowing others to make their own choices fully aware of what you had to say is impactful without being manipulative or getting in the way of someone else's karmic lessons. Let your own desires surrounding what would make you happiest become your goals and help each other conquer your fears. The others will have what you don't and vice versa. This is all about strength in numbers. Once you get to this point together, you will be provided with additional guidance. 
If this reading resonated with you and you would like to access the rest of the reading, which includes tarot cards that were pulled, numerology, shufflemancy, and often clairaudience, there is a link to the extended reading below in the description box. Extended readings are located on Substack at starfirecodes.substack.com. For a monthly or yearly fee, a subscription to my Substack will provide you with access to the extended archive of all of my readings. If you would like to book a personal reading, you may contact me at the email address in the description box below. I will never contact you in the comments section and there is no other way to book a reading with me other than to use the email address in the description box. Please do not get scammed by anyone pretending to be me or any other reader. However, if this is where we leave each other, I wish you all the best, have a wonderful day friends, and I'll see you next time.